What's up, what's up? This is your boy, King Tenyx. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I've been getting a lot of requests from DM on Instagram, Facebook, mostly on Facebook. Uh, people have been demanding more tutorials. I've done a few tutorials and I got lazy, but now I'm back uh, to go and find that inner peace, that inspiration, that creativeness. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a Instagram vintage look, something like this. To a picture like this the first thing you have to do actually is fix your white balance usually I, I, I select this marker tool and select anywhere where I think it's gray like here but I think yes yeah I think that's okay but let me just shift it and bring it here yeah it's much better and then from there we're gonna pump up the exposure Let's bring the exposure around, let's say, oh damn, not like this, okay, around 36, and then the contrast, we're also pumping it up, uh, up to maybe 14, 15, let's put it on 14, and then we go to your highlights, bring up your highlights up to 14 or 15, depends on how exposed is your picture actually so it will differ from your project to mine but yeah i'm just showing you how to get the look anything else after i've done this you can go back and adjust the exposure and the contrast but usually adjust the exposure and the highlights and the shadows let's also bring up the shadows around 20 20 21 that's okay and then from here we go straight to the tone curve uh, if your tone curve is like this just select here to put it like this okay from here we're gonna adjust here just pull it up oh damn damn what's happening Just gonna bring up this point right here. I don't know, it's something wrong with my mouse today. Then you put another point here. Just bring it up here. Then from here, put another point here. Something like this. And then from here, we go down to your colors. Uh, you select the B and W black and white option it's already selected uh, okay I'm just gonna pump up the reds let's just bring down okay the reds are right on 19 let's put this on 20 uh, I don't know what happened yet it feels like the, everything was automatically set 20 so bring this one to 20 you can just copy the settings right there 27 here it's all correct okay 27 here okay 18 here you can just pause here and copy the setting let's just bring this one up to 11 16 15 it was correct and let's put it up to 20 and then here it's all correct like this and then we'll go down to your effects effects yeah your effects right here just go to style and select paint overlay and then the amount just gonna put it on minus 36 minus 36 minus 36 minus 36 something like this and then the point correct on 50 roundness it's okay feather let's just put it on 58 and then from here great let's just pump it up to 20 20 20 20 20 20 then from here 
25 is okay, 50 is okay. Let's just go up there. Let's make this one. Back to your tone care. Just adjust a bit here. We want to give it that faded look. something like this okay from here then you can come back here and start adjusting your shadows it don't depend on kind of a look you're going for but I like this one okay from here we're just gonna come to crop see this picture was already cropped what was happening here without my permission uh, just select shift alt and then just drag from here just like that press ok it's our final look so guys this is our final look for the lightroom slash instagram vintage filter uh, please subscribe to my channel i'll be posting more videos every week now laziness will never be my enemy again